fall to Darwin Explore. Hi kids, Darwin it's Explorers. me, Darwin. Yay! Today, I want to learn about amphibians. Amphibian. What the heck's an amphibian? Amphibians. Hey, how you doing? They're slimy, they're bumpy, some uh... go ribbit, and some wear strawberries as hats. Amphibians are animals that live in both the water and on the land. I'm stuck. They're mostly frogs, toads, and salamanders. First, let's talk about frogs. Frog. 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 Frogs start as tiny eggs. Gross. And when they hatch, they turn into tadpoles. Oh. Yeah, a tadpole. Tadpoles live underwater and breathe air in the water like a fish. After a few months, Tadpoles turn into frogs Ribbit. and they come out onto the land and breathe air from, well, the air. Leapfrog, the perfect kids game is now something you can do in your own backyard. First, choose a human sacrifice. Okay, sacrifice, stand right here. Next, hunker down like an air raid is coming. Leapfrog, the frogs come in all sizes from tiny little frogs to medium frogs to huge frogs. That's called a goliath frog. It's as big as a cat. No. Frogs are cold-blooded. That means they get really hot and really cold. If a frog gets too cold, he might hop out on a rock and stretch out in the sun. Oh, it's pretty nice here. And if a frog gets too hot, he uh -huh. might hop back into the water to cool down. Another amphibian I want to talk about is a salamander. Yay! They're like a long frog with a tail. They're like a slippery, slimy lizard that live in the water and on the land. I'm so gross and slimy! Tired of poking slimy salamanders? Order a squishy hey, fish. Ow. Pull it any way you'd like. Squishy fish love to be massaged. Salamanders are able to regrow body parts if they lose them in a fight. Hey, wait, my arm fell off. Oh, wait, there it is. Salamanders are always smiling. It's like every day's their birthday. Every box of salamander stew comes with a real live salamander inside. I've been inside that box for weeks. Salamanders also come in all sizes, from small little ones to huge salamanders. The Chinese giant salamander is up to five feet long. Want the companionship of a dog but tired of the ugly faces? Well, I mean, look at his ugly face. He's got beautiful ears and he's super soft. Try a Chinese giant salamander. Want something that's good with the kids? Stop licking me. Oh, no, stop, stop licking me. Try a Chinese giant salamander. And the last amphibian I want to talk about today is a toad. Yeah, a toad. They're like dried out desert frogs. Toads have dry, bumpy skin that they use to protect themselves from other animals. Toads also use their color to blend into their surroundings so no one can see them. Hey, where'd he go? Invisible, you say. Oh, no, you can't see me. If a toad does get seen by another animal, they often pretend to be dead hey, so they the? get left alone. All right, it's almost the end of the day. You know what that means. It's quiz time! <laughs> Question number one. Where do frogs spend the first part of their life? In the water? On the land? Or at Disneyland? Hmm, frogs, where do they spend the first part of their life as eggs and tadpoles? That's right, in the water. Good job. Question number two. Which of these four is not, is not an amphibian? one that's not an amphibian that's a snake a snake is a reptile we'll learn about those later though question number three what amphibian has four legs slippery body 
a long tail, and is always smiling. That's right, it's a salamander. Good job. I had so much fun with you learning about amphibians. Remember, if you want to go on more explorations with me, Darwin, ask your parents to subscribe. Until next time. Darwin explores all things unbelievable and incredible. Darwin explores numbers and animals do construction. Darwin explores, Darwin explores. Welcome all to Darwin Explores. Darwin Explores. <laughs> I'm a toad, I live forever. Not so fast! <laughs>